Hi guys, Fabio Palvelli here with another video. This week I want to answer a message that I think this is one of those things that I think people still don't get about the internet and about life in general. Wait, let me read it for you. Hey Fabio, I watched your mega vlog over the weekend. I think he means the one about the D2 conference. I'm quite new in archivists and I'm still studying my master degree. I have made images for my clients for just two years. And so watching your video, I see how happy you are doing the job you love. And I don't know if I love my job because I always have problems and it's impossible to make money. How can people be happy making renderings? I don't even have the money to buy 3ds Max. Leave to go for holiday. I just want to wake up and be happy and have a job that makes me happy. How do you do this? Please tell me. I am not sure anymore about this, what I'm doing. Okay, so I think as a start, we need to understand the difference between happiness and accomplishment or fulfillment, like Simon Sinek would put it. Happiness is a momentary state of mind. It is the result of an episode that brings us joy. But it is a state of mind and a state of soul that doesn't last long. It's what happens when you find a hundred dollars bill on the floor, or when you graduate from high school, or when you go and see the latest Marvel movie. It's a feeling that is short-lived and it often happens because of expectations. You know, we wait for the new movie to come out or we wait for the day we finally jump on the plane and go on holiday. But it is something that we cannot expect to experience every day for the rest of our lives. And I think that we as a society have failed at setting those expectations and establishing those standards because they're simply, I don't know how to put it, they're, they aren't real. And social media has a lot to do with this, but we'll talk about this a little bit more later. On the other end, accomplishment or fulfillment is a state of mind that acknowledges that whatever it is that we're doing, it's part of something bigger, something that might not even be visible to others because the picture is too big for others to grasp. And the problem is that often people fail at understanding this because we are not able to see the bigger picture ourselves. You know why? Because when we look at things, we do it to compare our lives to the ones of others. And so the happiness that we chase, especially as defined by modern standards, with all these platforms like Instagram or Facebook that tend to show you a very curated side of the life of each single individual, it has become something that is unrealistic for human beings to experience. And as a result, to many, it doesn't even cross their minds to think, hey, wait a minute, you know what? I have my own life to live. And so I appreciate your message because I hope that this can be a teaching lesson to a lot of other people too, especially the younger ones. My recommendation to you, if this has any value, it's try to dig deeper every day and live your life with passion and curiosity. Understand that the reason why you're on this planet might be way bigger than you can actually understand. And you know what? It's okay to be confused. Life will eventually find its way if you let it. I talk very often to young designers or freelance artists and they tell me that the reason why they decided to start their own business is that they think that this will bring them happiness in the same way that winning the lottery would. And more often than not, the one big motivation behind their decision is that they are looking for freedom and that is the biggest reason why they want to create their business, to be free. And so they get started just to realize that this is of course not the case. A business is a business. And so they often ask me, hey, why am I doing this thing and I'm not as free and as happy as I thought I would be? How do I find that happiness and that freedom that I'm looking for on a day-to-day -day basis? And the answer is, you don't. You might love working as a designer or as an artist, but you're not going to like it every day. Let me give you a very simple example. We have a dog and she's the sweetest thing on this planet. You've probably seen her in my videos or in my Instagram pictures. And sometimes she barks at night and my wife and I, we cannot sleep. And we wake up and we look like zombies. For sure, we do not like our dog when she does that, but we love her every day nevertheless. We might get mad at her, but it doesn't matter. And the same thing should go for your career. You're not supposed to like it every day, 
but you should love it for as long as it gives you something that you feel grateful for. That could be considered your purpose, doing the one thing in life that makes you feel accomplished. And in order to do that, you have to force yourself to look at the bigger picture. And if you cannot find the bigger picture, you gotta force yourself to keep on looking. Because when that happens, you will start shifting your focus onto the things that matter the most. And you realize that the only thing that stood between you and your happiness, it was you. Thanks a lot for watching. My name is Fabio Palvelli. See you guys next time.